Curiosity is getting ready to make a grand entrance. The largest rover ever sent to another planet will touch down in the middle of the night after a spectacular entry into the Martian atmosphere and descent to the surface. And lift off of the Atlas V with Curiosity. Curiosity made a picture-perfect launch in November 2011. And now, after more than eight months and 350 million miles, it's time to get down to business. But first, Curiosity must get down to that surface safely. When she arrives at Mars, Curiosity has seven minutes to go from 13,000 miles an hour to a soft landing. These so-called seven minutes of terror encompass a sequence of steps that we cannot control or even witness in real time because signals take 14 minutes to reach Earth from Mars. Curiosity's heat shield, burning at nearly 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit, will protect the rover as it slows down rapidly. On the way down, the spacecraft fires thrusters to stay on target for Gale Crater. Then, at 1,000 miles per hour, the chute opens, slowing the spacecraft below the speed of sound. Next, the heat shield is jettisoned, and Curiosity begins looking for the surface with landing radar that lets onboard computers know how far it is above the ground. About five minutes into entry, the spacecraft is moving 200 miles per hour and is about a mile up. The descent stage, with Curiosity fastened underneath, tucked, drops from the parachute, fires up its landing engines, and slows the system to a near stop. Curiosity first gets to stretch her legs at approximately two miles per hour, about 60 feet above the ground. With wheels deployed, Curiosity is lowered on a sky crane to the surface. After touchdown, the sky crane's work is done, and it cuts loose to fly a safe distance away from our newest rover on Mars. In a few days, as Curiosity stands up her mast, she will give us our first close-up of Gale Crater an impact crater 96 miles wide with a three-mile-high mountain at its center. The crater's rock layers were laid down and then eroded, showing us a cross-section of Mars's history. Liquid water was necessary to form the geology we've seen from orbit, and that makes Gale Crater a great place to look for evidence of places that could have once harbored life. During her two Earth year primary mission, Curiosity will tell us about Mars's geology, weather, and current radiation levels, which are key to sending humans there someday. The rover's laser will examine rocks and help find places to take samples for the onboard chemistry lab that can identify minerals and organic materials, the building blocks of life. This nuclear-powered one-ton rover will take us ever closer to examining deep layers of history, and perhaps closer to an answer to the ancient question, was there ever life on Mars?